A practical feature of the S-Series pump is the option to transfer operation to a backup pump by programming an output relay in the primary pump. To get started, you'll need two S-Series pumps, two 18 to 22 gauge wires, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a small flat head screwdriver. Remove the eight screws and the terminal cover from the back of each pump. To connect the correct terminals, note the pump orientation. The control panel is at the top. With the primary pump unplugged, run the signal wires through the proper cord grip. Using the flat blade screwdriver, press the push tab to insert the end of wire one into the output relay one wire seat. Then insert one end of wire two into the second output relay one wire seat. Next, with the secondary pump unplugged, run the signal wires through the proper cord grip. Using the flat blade screwdriver, press the push tab to insert the other end of wire one into the standby positive wire seat. Then insert the other end of wire two into the standby negative wire seat. Plug in both pumps. As always, before programming for the first time, set the pump parameters in the configuration menu. Now, program the same operational mode and settings in both pumps. From the main menu, select control mode and the mode of operation. In this video, the pumps are set to manual to run at 50%. Now, program the output relay in your primary pump. From the main menu, Go to Configuration, scroll to Outputs, and select. Set Relay 1 to Normally Closed. After Normally Closed is set, the first relay option appears. The up and down arrows toggle between Off and On, and the Enter button saves and moves to the next option. Set all the relay options to Off, except for transfer. Confirm transfer is set to on. After the last relay option is set, the screen returns to the outputs menu. Select enable disable and relay one. Set relay one to enable. Now, set both pumps to operate. From the Outputs menu, go to the Configure menu. Then, scroll to Go to Main menu and select. From the Main menu, select Run Pump and Yes to run the pump. Repeat this step with the secondary pump. The backup pump programming is now finished. When the primary pump runs, the secondary pump does not run and Standby appears on the screen. If the primary pump stops, the secondary pump will come out of standby and operate.